been studying this form of painting, everything is done by a grid. It's done by proportions. There's a set of somewhat rigorous proportions for every deity, and the deity really comes about in the relationship of those proportions. But the main proportion of all the deities is Buddha Shakyamuni. And this is a really beautiful idea. The, the, basically, the, the, the lineage head of Buddhism himself, his image, is, is the key to all other deities in the Tantra tradition. So you start by drawing Buddha, and you start by drawing him with the proportions. And you move from drawing him unclothed to clothed to on a lotus, you know, you build, it's almost as if you're building a house from the foundation up, and the foundation is, is the Buddha, the images of the Buddha. The ultimate point of learning the measurements and the scale and the relationships and the proportions is the, to get to this point where you can draw with ease so that you internalize the form. And I think culturally this has a lot to do with the way this particular form of Buddhism was practiced in that region, which is when you when you practice these these deities, you actually internalize the form of it. So you you meditate on the form of it very deeply. You think about it, you're able to picture it in your mind, picture it in your mind, you bring it to mind, bring to mind its qualities. So the way the way the art is done is the same way. You learn the proportions, you draw the por proportions repeatedly so that you internalize them eventually. Bliss, sudden, open like the sky, arises as an infinite shimmering light display.